Hello, and this video is for getting Windows, I mean Windows, sorry, Lord of the Rings Battle from Earth 1 to work on a newer OS like Windows 7, Home Premium, Windows 8, but for now I'll show you Windows 7 Home Premium. Um, you'll probably launch the game and probably get somewhat similar to this error code. Um, I've been looking around. Some people would say, download the game file here. Here's the crack code uh, or generate code. I already have the disk and everything, so I just wanted to get the game to launch. And I spent hours trying to find find the issue. And then this one person posted this video, which is removed now. And what it was is the game installs, but it doesn't install the option file, which is basically uh, like you know the size of your monitor and stuff. Um, so I'm just going to show you that and hopefully it helps and fix it if you still play this game today. So you obviously see that error code. And so what we're going to do is you're going to go into computers, open your computers. Then you're going to go to your local C hard drive, which is your main. If you don't know what it is, just look for the Windows logo. And you're going to see this. Before we go into the user, I want you to go to Organize, Folders and Search Options, and go to the Category View, and right down there, Hidden Folders and Files, I want you to check mark to this one where it shows the hidden folders, because there's a folder you need to get to that's hidden, and you can obviously can't see it. So press Apply, and then press OK. And then you're going to want to go to User, obviously your name, or whoever the administrative is, and then you want to go to app data because obviously it's a hidden folder then you want to go to rom or roaming um, and then look for my battle for middle earth files it it should be there if you already install the game that's what you want to do first if you have installed the game install the game first and you notice your folder is empty inside there well that's where the options folder is supposed to be looks exactly like this obviously I already have the fault of the folder ready but I'm going to send you the link because actually when you open this file, this is exactly what it looks like. And basically on the link below, I'll have this whole text for you to copy and paste. So basically you just want to copy that. I'll move this out of the way now. And right back to here. I want you to right click. We're going to put new. And we're going to do a text document. Either that you can use a notepad. Um... I'll just use a text document though. If you don't, Notepad works as well. Um, open that, because obviously text document is Notepad. So, and then that link, I, uh, well not link, the all the words, basically you want to copy that and paste it. Um, the only thing you probably want to change on here is your screen revolution. If you don't know what it is, Basically click the desktop, right click it, not left, but right click it, click screen revolution. Obviously I'm running triple monitors, so obviously I want to click my main one. This is, it'll say your currently main one, and this is your revolution, so mine is 1920 over 1080. So basically I'll just change that. Again, you don't have to, you can just run with the default settings it has um, right now. Just double check, make sure you know 18 by 1080. And basically, you want to once you got all the things you set, you want to click File, Save As, and we're going to change it. We're going to put Options with the S at the end, and then dot I N I. Basically, you're making the option file. You're creating, as you say. And then the save as type, you want to change that text document to all files. And then click save. And then basically you can close this out. Obviously close that too. And you'll see it's there. The option file. Bam. So now you can just remove this because this is not needed. And there's your option file. And that's pretty much it. You can uh, organize, put your hidden folder back on so you don't have to see it anymore press OK, you can go click computers, whatever you want to do here, and close this out, and you should be able to launch the game, and 
it should work. Reason I can't show is because um, my OBS monitor recorder, for some reason, it doesn't show it when it launches. It just stands still, but the game does launch for me. I appreciate and I hope really this video helps you. Again, for the people that doesn't, I'm very sorry. But for the people that do, there you go. <laughs> well, you take care.